What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, now since we had CCXP when Kevin Feige came out and told us something that no one knew about the Celestials, about the Eternals. So, during Brazilian Comic Con, Kevin Feige told everyone in the audience and he told the world that the Eternals know about the Avengers, but the Avengers don't know about the Eternals. Why does that change the landslide as we know it of the MCU? Well, because the Eternals is the prequel movie to the whole of the MCU. So we're going to go over a potential plot leak. That is very interesting. Why? Because it is inferring that something happened during Endgame to make us believe that the mutants were already in the MCU and they were just woken up from said snap. So about a year, probably August 2018, before Avengers 4 came out, I did a video about how Thanos' snap would wake up Galactus. Now, in this plot leak from 4chan, which you've kind of got to take it with a pinch of salt, but at the same time, you've got to remember that it's got the plot leak right, the full plot leak right for Star Wars Episode 9, Game of Thrones Season 9, 8, sorry. It's also got the complete anthology right for Terminator Dark Fate, a good proportion of Endgame. So you've got to take it with a pinch of salt, but... It is a very interesting said plot leak for the Eternals movie. And seeing as I'm kind of a guy who covers this stuff, we're going to go over it. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any videos at the 100,000 subscriber mark. I know that's insane. I will be giving away a PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X or a Switch if we ever get there. So what we've got to do, guys, is we've got to get there together first and then I can give that away. And make sure to turn the notifications on to never miss any videos. So like I said, guys, I've covered a lot of these plot leaks. Why? Because generally you guys like this kind of content and I like making them for you and Reddit 4chan videos are very good on YouTube. So let's go over this potential plot leak. But like always, guys, it doesn't ruin your experience of going to the cinema because we are now in December. The movie comes out in November. By then, you would have forgotten all of this. But it's very different to the other kind of, I guess you could say, potential story leaks that we went over before. But it also could be very much fabricated because of everything that we know about the Eternals now. We know that the Eternals essentially could have helped with Thanos if they wanted to, you know. So let's go over this potential leak. I might leave it down below if you guys want. So, the Eternals are created by the Celestials to defend humanity from deviants. After a vicious battle, they're defeated and exile the deviants. They give up their powers and memories to live among humans. Now, why is this interesting? This is interesting because once everyone found out that the Celestials, the Eternals essentially, were around all this time and they knew about the Avengers, they couldn't help Thanos because this said they gave up their powers to live amongst humans. And the other plot leak implied that they had their memories wiped, which is interesting. And this plot leak also does insinuate there are other timelines. You're going to see the present day. It's going to flash forward, flash back. So I'm now thinking this movie is going to be in multiple timelines, just like the Black Widow movie. So let's go on. In the present, I presume that means present day, Dane Whitman, aka Kit Harrington's character, discovers the ruins of the Eternal Citadel and activates a beacon that awakens them. He is attacked by the Deviants and rescued by Cersei's, played by Gemma Chan. If you remember, we had the plot leak, the images of her in London. In the current day, it, it looked like she was going down the underground. The Eternals reunite and learn that the deviants are searching for the tomb of the god now this is interesting because we've already had potential plot leaks screen image from the uk what looks like the tomb of the gods so we know that something very similar to this or the tomb of the gods will actually feature dane has the map so the eternals must protect him and count on his help to find it first so this is all adding up it's, it's looking very interesting it's lining up with multiple things that we already know is confirmed to be real about this film. The Deviants were freed by rogue eternal Gilgamesh. However, Cersei's and Dane learn 
Gilgamesh is being mind controlled by Druid, which, as we know, is supposed to be the main villain of the movie, although it's not actually ever being confirmed by anyone. Who is the true traitor alongside Thena, played by Angelina Jolie, aka Lara Croft, back in the day? So let's go on. Thena secretly had a child with the leader of the Deviant Crow. But the humans murdered him. She hates them ever since and wants to reach the tomb of gods to reclaim the power of the celestials to destroy them. Now, this is very interesting because this doesn't coincide with anything else. So, Thena had a secret child with the leader of the Deviant and the humans murdered them, it implies. So, she wants to get the power of the celestials to destroy them. Cersei is divided between Dane and her lover, Icarus, played by Richard Madden, but ultimately chooses Dane. Icarus had a close friendship with Makara. Congo befriends Dane and teaches him how to fight. Dane becomes the Black Knight in the final battle. Now, why is this part specifically interesting? Because everyone's thought the Black Knight has been this character that's going to be the face of Avengers going forward. And it just seems like at the moment, Kit Harrington's character is a normal character until he is trained to fight and then he becomes, you know, the Black Knight, which is pretty cool. So Sprite befriends Gilgamesh and convinces him to rejoin the Eternal. So Fastos is gay. Now we do know this movie is going to technically introduce the first, I guess you could say, fully fred LGBT character I believe. I know there was one in Endgame played by one of the Russo bros, but they weren't really a full character. Thena tries to convince him to join her and punish humans for their prejudice, but he refuses because he still has hope for humanity. Now, that is pretty much the full plot leak. If it's true, you know, careful spoilers potential, I don't really know if it's true, but it sounds more interesting than the previous plot leaks. It really does. That they, the, the Eternals gave up their powers to live with the humans, and then it makes sense why the Eternals have always known about the Avengers but couldn't do in it. And it also said they gave up their powers and memories. So they lost their memories, so they couldn't help because technically they didn't know, but they didn't know, but they gave the powers up. So it is really interesting. But the first bit of the YouTube title that I put on this video is inferring to what's about to come now. So we're going to go over this because this is very interesting. And as I said at the start of the video, it coincides with a video I made middle of 2018 about Fantasy Snap waking up Galactus. And it does really coincide that because if you remember in Avengers Endgame, there were to snap wasn't there you know there was actually there was really more than that there was a snap or some kind of variation of the snap where Thanos at the start of the movie said that he used the reality stone to get rid of all the stone and turn them into small atoms small particles so to speak so there was that then there was the snap that Bruce did, you know, the fake I, the fake Hulk, because let's be honest, guys, there is no Hulk in the MCU currently. And then there was the snap that Thanos tried to do. He tried to do a snap, but we don't know what happened because just because it didn't work doesn't mean nothing happened then, does it? Something must have happened, but we didn't see anything. So we're not sure about that part, really, because no one's actually on the writing team. So you can't go down in the comment section and be like, you're wrong. Well, if you want to say that, I guess you could. And then we had Iron Man Snap that defeated Thanos. So let's go over this bit here, because this is the most interesting part of the whole potential story. So in the end, the Celestials awaken and possess the power of the Eternals leader, Ajax. They decide humanity must be destroyed before they become too powerful due to the mutations awakened by Thanos' snap. Now, let's just stop there. So, essentially, it's not saying anything. It's not saying that created, Thanos snap created the X-Men, Thanos snap created the X-Gene. It's not saying anything like that. Literally, it says word for word, before they become too powerful due to mutations awakened, right? So the X gene could have already been in all the X Men, all the mutants already, but the snap awakened them. Like when I said that Thanos' snap could awaken Galactus, and that could really be true. It could awaken the Fantastic Four, it could awaken anyone. So this implies that some parts of the movie will be in the present day, 
some could be in the future because you've got to understand that the timeline at the moment with avengers 4 they're in the future it's five years in the future it's not in 2019 it's 2019 plus five and then so it's going to be a prequel movie to the whole mcu you know because they're from like years and thousands of years before but the way this reads if it's true that there will be a segment of the movie that's got to be in the present day as it says here they decide humanity must be destroyed before they become too powerful due to the mutations awakened by thanos's snap so there will be probably two three different times in this movie i'm presuming the eternals stand against them and a jack sacrifices himself to stop them and it chris becomes the new leader now let me know down below guys like i said this might not even be real but it is interesting you guys love these kind of 4chan videos so i will leave the link down below and if i don't just remember me because sometimes i forget to leave the links i will leave the link there but it's still up on reddit it, it, the title is the eternals elite from 4chan so i will leave it down below if i remember but if i don't remember just let me know so guys let me know do you think this is the best way that kevin feige the juggernaut mr kevin feige can bring in the x-men i mean it's pretty generic i mean your boy wars you came up with it you know just title avengers 4 thanos snap wakes up collectors inside the quantum realm that is literally guys what i said over a year ago so i'm not really sure if i believe this but i like to bring these kind of theories stroke leaked videos to you because you guys really enjoyed that during the end game era and captain marvel era so we're still in the cover stories like this not as often as i used to because i don't really want to do content like this daily but we do one or so a week so it is interesting so let me know guys what is the most interesting way and best way that kevin feige etc can bring the mutants or the mutations to the mcu and not make it a generic kind of oh they all had the x gene because i really don't think kevin feige is going to do that because he wants to differentiate himself to the fox universe that is why everyone is getting recasted pretty much so like always guys please like subscribe and comment make sure to check out war stew on facebook twitter twitch literally everywhere and warstew.com and like always guys please like subscribe and comment i'll catch you in another video very soon catch you later